this the WRT Boxing Show. The siren's on. The doors are open. You new boxing junkies. You hear the siren. You're getting the news broken to you right now, right here. With your fellow boxing junkies. You are a junkie. You love boxing. You have your itch. Here you are. The boxing rehab known as the WRT Boxing Show. There's a whole community here. Welcome. If you if you feel scared and you don't know if you want to join, walk around. Check out some few archive videos. Check out some posters They're on the wall. Watch them. If you like it, feel comfortable, join at the front desk. Sign up. Now, if you're not a new viewer and you joined the facility already, you know uh, we've been covering some Josh Taylor. And him over Baranchik was a good-ass fight. It was good, you know? Now, are we seeing two tells of Josh Taylor, you know? Because not many people went into this fight thinking Baranchik was going to defeat Josh Taylor, unless it was a puncher chance, a boxing punch, you know? Baranchik throws everything hard as fuck. So that's why he always has the potential of knocking you out or hurting you real bad. He throws everything hard as fuck, but with a skillful boxer of what we think of Josh Taylor, who we think he is, that ideal, we all knew that that fighter should be Baranchik somehow, and it should be fairly easy. Box from the outside, move around, do your thing, and hold him when he gets close. Now, to my surprise, and he beat the shit out of him in the inside game. You know? But when you think about it, he is the more technical sound fighter, better footwork, so he was able to beat the shit out of an inside game, work his body, good body. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it like a, a bolo punch or a type of uppercut, but he was winding it <laughs> to reach it out. He was doing a nice good shot, dropped Baranchik twice in a six. The second knockdown was more of a he just didn't recover from the first hook with the hooker type fight punch. Now, like I said, the only thing that worries you is it like two Josh Taylors, like the one against Victor Polestyle, who he you know, just didn't look quite the dominating one, you know, but he, he ended up doing enough. Now, on this one, he went inside and out. When he was when he was in the inside, yes, he was doing good work, but he was just getting hit a little bit. The fight was rough. Like, everyone knew, dude, stay on the outside and box the shit out this dude. His corner kept telling him and telling him and telling him. He even said, he's like, hey, you know what? I It got easy. I found his rhythm. I found his speed. It was just easy to do what I wanted to do with him. So that right there got, and you saw that. You saw in the fight, he was able to, like, okay, I want to fight you from the outside. I'm banging the inside end. Baranchik Bar 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 couldn't really do nothing about it, just throw some heavy ass shots. Like I said, it wasn't the first time Baranchik been down before, so he knew how to recover from it, but he, he was hurt. There was a few times he was uh, rocked with body shots, stunned to the head. But it was just an overall, even though it was scarier and harder for him in insight, I liked I liked it because I saw, I mean, I thought he was going to do more holding. That's what I said in the prediction. He's going to box him, make it easy. And then when he has to just hold him. He, he fairly didn't hold him too much. He he just freaking boxed the shit out of him. Upper, uh, uppercut him, bolo shots, hooks, knocked him down in the insight. Good overall performance and becoming uh, a true IBF champion now. He's a he is a a champion. No silver belt, no diamond belt, no intercontinentals, no domestic British anything. He is the IBF 140 champ. Bringing on Regis Progress should be a very interesting fight. But Josh Taylor looked. Like I said you can say he went inside too much. Agreeable. But his inside work was sharp. It was good. You know, did he get a hit? Yeah, but who does it when you fight inside like that? But his inside work was damn good, especially against a guy who's a, a bully, a brute, a, a power force. You know, kind of understandable why he went inside. Yeah, he, it was easier to do it on the outside box him. But if you let Baranchik get his full range on some wild ass hard shit that he throws, shit is either going to rock you, knock you out. Or just hurt you bad. So fucking, there's probably somewhere in that point where he was on the outside and he got cracked. And he was like, oh shit, that motherfucker hits hard. Go inside, smother that power where it can't get full 
leverage on you. Varanchik really ain't got much, you know. He has to dig so hard for his punches. If you if you get inside, he really can't do much of an inside damage that he could do unloading that full power and that full range. So I think they had a little bit to play with um, why he kept going inside. He felt that power somewhere in that fight, and, and he's like, dude, he, it's not as strong if I'm in on him. You know, just um, smother the power. I think that's why he did it. So, Josh Terry looked damn good inside and outside. Just, it was, uh, as a team, a little scarier to watch him inside. But, hey, job well done. IBF champion now. The Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for your time and support.